Hey, good evenings, good evenings, Cape Flat Stories. Hope you guys are good. Hope it goes good with you. I have a special guest tonight in the studio with me. Uh, many of you guys will know him. Some of you won't know him. He's a boy from the Cape Flats, you know. Um, he's also the founder of a church called JCI. He's also the president of of ARA, a political party that recently started, that also is growing at a rapid pace. But we'll talk more about that. I've got Dr. Jerome Swartz with me in the studio. Uh, many of you will know him as pastor, as a businessman, and so on and so on. So, without any further ado, I've got Dr. Jerome. Welcome, doctor. Welcome to Cape Flat Stories. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It has been a while. I've been trying to get you on board um, on the show, but you've, you've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we're busy with quite a number of projects. We're awesome. busy with quite a number of things. Okay. You know, so. Doc, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions, and yeah. I think we want to be honest. We want to be fair to the people. We even going to give people the opportunity mm. to ask questions. I think one of the things that we want to talk about tonight, first, before we start, mm. This is Cape Flat Stories. We, we talk about the Cape Flat Stories and the people on the Cape Flats. You are from the Cape Flats. You are a product of the Cape Flats. A successful businessman, a successful pastor. Tell us more about yourself. Be as Doc, Bahavan Uncle Doc. Because you've been around, but people haven't really seen you in the spotlight. But you're coming out. Not out of the closet, but you're coming out. So. <laughs> coming out of the closet. <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> coming out of the closet. No, no. So who, who, is, who is Jerome Swartz? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I am. A, Born, we come from the Cape, and I came from Club mm -hmm. in Steenburg, mm -hmm. and of course, um, you know, things have developed and so forth. Started a number of businesses, mm -hmm. um, run uh, churches and so forth. But I think from a political side, you know, mm -hmm. we now started ARA, the Africa Restoration Alliance, mm -hmm. and we of course involved with many product um, uh, projects, mm -hmm. uh, and also not just in in the Cape but across the country. You know, so yeah, from that point of view. Um, I started as an architect and an architecture company. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to know from that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, from an educational point, I done architecture, studied structural engineering, mm -hmm. civil engineering, um, done two doctorates, wow. uh, one honorary and more in Christian business. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, run an accounting practice. Mm -hmm. So I've got honors in accounting. Mm -hmm. and also done tax. Um, mm -hmm. Honors in tax, uh, well, the one I didn't finish, and so, but yeah. honors in tax and yeah. corporate law. Yeah. So that's more of the study background. Mm -mm, okay. mm -mm. Yeah. From the Cape Flats, um, they normally expect us just to have a matric certificate. Yeah. It hasn't been easy for you. Um, it has been difficult, right? How has your journey been as a businessman? Because I know you, on the, if you're from the Cape Flats, if you're colored, you have to work yeah. much more harder. How has that journey been um, the last couple of years? Because you have worked yourself up to a position where you can say you're running your own practices. Mm. And you don't only you didn't only specialize in one subject, you specialized in, in accounting, you specialized in um, as an architect. Mm. How has that journey been for you? Well, you know, in I think from 2001, 2003, mm -hmm. it was a big change. 2010, I went into architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, I ran a company in 2009, a forex company. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, which I don't really advise people to get involved with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay I don't, I don't, it's a volatile market, mm -hmm. so I don't mm -hmm. advise any people mm -hmm. uh, to, or anybody to get involved with as such if they don't have yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. But uh, listen, uh, uh, the economy has been it has been great for some. Mm -hmm. It depends where you are in, of course. It's mm -hmm. difficult for a lot of other people, mm -hmm. restaurant owners, yeah. uh, retailers, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of ups and downs. So for, for me, business, I, I like business. I, I must tell you, mm -hmm. I love business. Mm -hmm. Um, I love seeing people succeed. I like people going, seeing mm -hmm. people going forward. So it's been good for us. Yeah, it's been good yeah. for us. And of course, you know, I, I teach people that in business, there's only really six, eight principles to succeed. Mm -hmm. Only eight. Yeah. You know, you cannot. You, some people add, say, do well, do this and do that. Mm -hmm. But it's really just eight principles in business. Mm -hmm. um, and so business has been good. You know, we've we helped a lot of people develop their business and so forth through one of our companies. Mm -hmm. And we've seen people grow. I mean, we've seen guys become multi-millionaires and mm -hmm. so forth and, and 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 when I say that I said mm -hmm. with 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 happiness and yeah. respect because mm -hmm. of how they matured yeah it's just yeah. not about the money but how they matured and how they mm -hmm. developed mm -hmm. and so forth over the years and and that is the the difficult part where we're going to get get into later on multi-millionaires there is something that don't happen mm. with colored people yeah um, we have a lot of you know I'm and I'm not I don't want to be racing to this, but it's just this, the, the situation. Mm -hmm. Some of us have to work much more harder than others. And I think that has been your journey. You've been working extremely hard to get to where you are. 
Uh, why did you decide? I mean, okay, before we get here, you were also part of the ACDP. Mm -hmm. You were in the ACDP and you lived two years ago, or, or yeah, two, two years ago, and you started your own party. Why did you start your own party? Okay, so so from a from a political background, you know, I was I never desired to be in, in politics. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was not uh, was furthest from mine. Mm -hmm. We're doing business um, and so forth, but. A lot of things changed. A lot of things changed for us in 2018. Of course, personal mm -hmm. things that took place with me as well. Yeah. You know, and a, 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 in a, in a, in a, with 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 the, on the with the Lord and so forth. Yeah. So I think that changed the whole perspective of government because we realized that if you want to bring a change, you can't. You cannot just do it from the feet up or from grassroots. Mm -hmm. You've got to get to the place or um, um, a place of power where mm -hmm. decisions are made, and that's. Most of the time, that's where the bad decisions are made, mm. okay? Corrupt decisions are made. Yeah. My, uh, money is siphoned out, uh, we sell the country. So a lot of issues, mm. I tell you. So your question is that I got involved with the ACDP, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so forth. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I ran the ACDP. I was national chairperson of ACDP. Okay. Um, guy behind the scenes, really. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you know, and it's a question why I left. Why you left? Because you, you have been with yeah. him for quite a while and you've also worked extremely hard behind the scenes. So then uh, uh, something uh, had to happen, obviously. Uh -huh. And I think that is what, because there's a lot of rumors, also people spread rumors and we want to get it from you, from you fir from first end. I think a lot of people want to know why mm -hmm. we got in, why we left ACP. Yeah. I, I don't think I've really opened my mouth about it really, mm -hmm. but you know, I've, I've also decided, you know, people need to know truth and mm -hmm. of course you get rumors people make rumors because you that's know, right answer. yeah uh, um, and of course we will be behind the scenes mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff you see in ACTP today is mm -hmm. a result of um, our, uh, our backing our involvement mm -hmm. um, so number one was and I don't like saying this but yeah. I'm, uh, why I left was I saw things I didn't like okay number one I saw there was a lot of there was there was corruption in the party in, in the ACDP? Yeah, no, there's corruption, there's corruption. You, so we, when we define corruption, you know, let me say this to you, I'll be frank with you. Mm -hmm. um, um, don't put the word Christian in a party yeah. and you behave unlike Christians. Mm -hmm. Like lies are being spread, what, what I wanted to be number one. Yeah. I didn't want to, uh, we mm -hmm. didn't want to be in politics. Yeah. I can be honest with you, t I tell mm -hmm. you now, in Arab, not at all people, mm -hmm. if you want to run for, as the head of the party, go for it. Yeah. You know, um, there's lot other there's a lot of other work to do, mm -hmm. but from a governmental point, let's talk mm -hmm. about government. You got a lot of guys sitting in government. Our cabinet is quiet. Yeah, they are uh, they are sleeping. They are sleep. Okay, have we ever seen one person in cabinet has ever done anything that you can that you can put a merit to it and say he is extra fact. Mm -hmm. Listen, he is extra fact given out food. Yeah, not one. Mm -hmm. Find me one. Mm -hmm. Councillor, let yeah. me say councillor, mm -hmm. of local government. Find mm -hmm. me one um, uh, parliamentary member, yeah. except, of course, I can tell you, mm -hmm. in others, uh, sorry, I don't know if I'm going overboard here, but in Ara, in Ara, we got two councillors that actually use their salaries yeah. to employ people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and that's why. And so there's, a, there's, there's corruption in, in ACDP, mm -hmm. and you expect things mm -hmm. to be done in the proper order. Yeah. For example, one person was actually, now why I say this because there's a lot of people <coughs> that connected with myself mm -hmm. that got involved with ACDP believing it's gonna be okay. Now, I wanna say this to you. It's like, ACDP is like a, it's like a washing machine. Mm -mm. They, uh, they throw at people all the time. Mm -mm. When, they are, when they use you, they throw at, no, it doesn't mean we, they used us. Yeah. We, I left, well, I left, I left, we called a meeting, yeah. a general meeting with all the, all the, um, the heads and the leader of the party, and we discussed some couple of things that was mm -hmm. actually an issue with myself. Mm -hmm. Constituency fees, yeah. money, where, how's the money spent? Mm -hmm. That had to be ordered and had to be declared. That was not declared. Uh, you know, it's almost like as if uh, uh, it's always a money issue uh, um, and so forth. So there's much more things. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't want to get into detail now about it. Yeah. You, you mentioned something about constituency fees now as a member of parliament, and, and I think this is what people also, we need to educate people about yeah, this as well. Yeah, yeah. You get a salary, yep. and you get constituency yep, fee. That's right. That can, an average be 200,000 in a month. Depends on the province. And on uh, yeah, province yeah. And, and on your numbers. Mm. And this money were never used. And, and look, I'm going to be honest with you. 
My father-in-law was supposed to, he believed in two parties. Mm -hmm. You would either vote for the ACDP or you would vote for the DA. Mm -hmm. That's the only two parties that they vote for. Mm -hmm. But this is my thing. When we start working in the community, mm -hmm. you don't see these parties. ACDP, and I'm not making them bad, I'm just saying that I haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you were in the party. Yeah. And like you've mentioned, only election times, mm -hmm. these parties were active. What have you taken away from the ACDP? What are you doing differently as the president of ARA to make sure that you know we don't just see them election time? I know you've mentioned you, you, you have, your councillors are giving money. Mm -hmm. Maybe just give us more uh, about that. Okay. Even before, before ARA started, before ACDP, our, mm -hmm. our, our people, not just even our councillors, mm -hmm. but everyone's connected to us. And I'm just not saying talking pastors, mm -hmm. I'm talking about leaders, yeah. are involved in the community. They are mm -hmm. involved with um, Safety projects, mm -hmm. um, employment projects, feeding projects. We've got a, we've got we've got people going into. For, let me give, I give you an example. We've got teams building mm -hmm. people's houses burned yeah. burned down. They come in and fix the house. Mm -hmm. No co no cost because it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, a responsibility we have towards mm -hmm. our brothers mm -hmm. our, to your towards humanity. Yeah. You know you don't want to see a lady. Uh, oh, mama sleeping in the street mm -hmm. and so forth. So these guys have done this before. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, we've had uh, one of our councillors going into Northern Cape fixing roofs and fixing it, took electricians down and yeah. they donated their time to go down and mm -hmm. fix. Uh, about, probably I've been in 20 houses. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the councillors went into one of the houses now in Ward 56, just, mm -hmm. just to tell you. Yeah. They went in and they found the sewage running through the guy, guy's house. Got three I daughters. saw this video, yes. Yeah, three daughters. And the sewage was probably about, I think, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. He mm -hmm. got hold of the, 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 the council and so forth, and mm -hmm. they sorted that problem out. Yeah. This is the responsibility of a councillor, yeah. and, and also responsible of, you, you know, if you're leading, you mm -hmm. want to cause a change, if, you, if you're being, if you're being paid a salary, mm -hmm. if you're being paid a salary besides constituency fee, then you have to do something. You can't sit at home, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I sometimes look at the, 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 the councillors. They talk, 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 talk. What they're talking about? What, what? Who, do they do they deal with the crime issues mm -hmm. in the area? Uh, are they are they going to homes and mm -hmm. say, let me identify? Mm -hmm. If you've got a problem in your in your area in your yeah. ward, the first person you should contact is the councillor. That's right. Says, so, Mr. Councillor, I've got a problem in this road here, mm -hmm. the, the sewerage here, mm -hmm. the area, the uh, the, the, the building mm -hmm. um, 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 uh, shacks. So we, mm -hmm. how can mm -hmm. we help the people? Yeah. So your council not really active, you know. I've yet to see it. I've mm -hmm. yet to see it. Mm -hmm. And so, when we take Ward 56, I'm sorry to say that, but mm -hmm. when we take Ward 56, um, it's going to be probably one of the first, mm -hmm. you're going to see a difference in that ward mm -hmm. in probably in the next two months afterwards. You're going to see a difference in the ward. I can promise mm -hmm. you that. Because the guys that's involved there, Mark, that's, in, that's running for the council mm -hmm. and so forth. And of course, there are, um, of course, there's a council, they have to, they have to operate in certain criteria mm -hmm. level yeah. to remain councils or we will remove mm -hmm. them and so forth. But your other question was, it, <clears throat> how do we ensure to be different? We are way different, mm -hmm. way different. I'm yeah. telling you, uh, um, ACDP is a bunch of lazy people. We uh, said it's it it's on air. That's <laughs> a, a heavy statement, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a bunch of, I yeah. work with all, a bunch of lazy. You're yeah. going to see them carrying a, carrying, uh, carrying a Bible, mm -hmm. say carrying the cross, they're a bunch yeah. of lazy people. Yeah. Other, I'm tired of this, uh, this this mushy, mushy, yeah, fuchi, yeah. fuchi with people. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of parties that are lazy. <laughs> they talk, they're lazy. Mm -hmm. um, they smile. You can't smile when people are hurting. You can't mm -hmm. smile when people are angry. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't smile when people are struggling. They're sitting yeah. in pain. The children yeah. are being uh, raped and abused mm -hmm. and so You can't smile. Yeah. And a lot of po uh, the politicians think it's, you know, it's, it's going to go over. Uh, it's going to fly, mm -hmm. uh, fly away. So that's an ACDP. Yeah. Um, if you want to talk other parties, we can talk other parties. This, but, but, but this is what I actually want to tell you. You are being honest. And, and I think we, we, we want to stick to that. You, you made a video about a week or two ago mm -hmm. where the good party said, but you'll paint no reason so funny means. Well, if people came into my community and said they're going to paint my house for me and I must vote for them, so be it. I will because you get paint this dear. What is your, <laughs> what is uh, your take on that? We'll give good paint. We'll give them paint, <laughs> we'll give them paint to paint the houses. Uh -uh. Because it seems like maybe they're not doing yeah. something good enough. You know, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you, know I, you know, we don't have time for foolish people. Mm -hmm. they, they are foolish. You know, you, maybe you <laughs> see my face, maybe I'm smiling. But, but you know, uh, you, listen, if you want to do something, commit to do something. Yeah. You know, don't, don't, don't. Um, it's almost like, 
Uh, we're giving you food. We're mm -hmm. giving you paint. We're, mm -hmm. give, we're, give, uh, we're going to clean the streets. Mm -hmm. Do something. You know, they, the same people that complain in Cape Town, mm -hmm. I think there was an instant where they were, they were copying our idea mm -hmm. uh, in the West Coast. I don't know where it is, but on the West Coast, I think it's a, what's this place? Uh, um, 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 one of the municipalities. Copying the same idea of other. Never done before, mm -hmm. but now they're doing it. Mm -hmm. You know? So, uh, so, so, it seems a bit harsh and I'm coming across yeah. like this, but listen, you've got people that have pay, been pay, paid, mm -hmm. tax money is being paid, yeah. you've got to do something about it. Yeah. Um, I want to see the councils do something, not just in Western Cape. Listen, mm -hmm. we're talking about Western Cape, let's talk about South Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a disaster. You got you got you, you got you councils that are wasting time. You go mm. to Pumalanga, you go to Limpopo, you go to Gauteng. Mm. I've been listen. We've been we probably been in every mm. municipality in South Africa. Mm. All right, eighty percent of it. Uh, it's it's a mess, mm. you know. And, and people, are of course, are going to get upset with you. Of course, yeah. councils are going to get upset with yeah. me. Uh, even ministers are going to get upset with me. Mm. You know, I'm not there to we're not there to negotiate with people. We want to see South Africa go forward. We want to see South Africa yeah. restore. And I, and I think that doc is the problem that we have. People want to yeah. see. We are now in a time, and we're going to touch on these things, you know, as we go. Load setting is a killer. Load mm. setting is killing businesses. As mentioned earlier on, we have to, small businesses on the Cape Flats or small businesses in Cape Town have to work much more harder. Yeah. The corruption is real within national government, and I want to say local government as well, and that is where we're going to talk now about also the 750,000 irregular expenditure. Million rand that yeah. has been irregularly spent. What is your take on it? Because you, you mentioned something, and there's something in the news where 750 million rand has been, from Cape Town government, has been spent irregularly. That's a lot of money. Okay. Two things. You've got to you also ask me two questions. Oh, Esco oh, and <laughs> irregular expenditure. You know, when you talk about irregular expenditure, you got a, you you got a, for example, you got a auditor general that came mm. out and said they got a clean audit. I don't know if mm. the auditor general is drunk. Mm. Uh, I don't know if. Uh, and then you got the mayor going on, uh, mm. going on, and uh, we got a clean audit. Mm. You got seven hundred and eighty thousand then that disappeared irregular expenditure, mm. the mayor's fund must be ordered as well. Mm -hmm. I think the mayor must be fired. I think the mayor is wasting his time. I, I don't know. Um, you know, there should be a, a calling. Now, I heard they, they're going to they're gonna have, a, they're gonna have a, a sitting to mm -hmm. argue all these issues. But what then? There should be a council that's dealing with this. So listen here, let's bring people to book. Mm -hmm. If you're holding a post, mm -hmm. A, a post according to the municipal act, mm -hmm. you are responsible for that 700 and somewhat million. You put they put the budget together. Mm. They've written their own policies. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's not just now, now, now. So they've got a clean audit. Yeah. Now the basis they do the audit, and I don't think it's a, a it shouldn't, it's an opinion the audit general has given. Mm. And I'm an accountant as well. Mm. Okay. So when I went through this uh, stuff. Uh, uh, what is their basis? Now they are right to cause the opinions and so forth. Mm. There's no just disclosures given mm. on a medal fund uh, irregular expenditure. These things must be investigated. Mm. They should be. The only thing the Auditor General says is, oh, they uh, they must better the patterns of mm. how they do the accounting policy. Yeah. That's such nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get a, get a, get the ethics committee involved. Mm -hmm. um, they sh listen, seven hundred and eighty. Do you know what we can do with seven hundred eighty? Built a lot of houses. <laughs> <laughs> you give me 780, I can build you mm -hmm. probably uh, 780 million. I can give you a million houses. 780 million. Mm -hmm. 780 million. Mm -hmm. You can build a million houses for those people living yeah, in Bangkok. I, mean, I, mean, I can believe. <laughs> you, you know the, 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 the ridiculous, mm -hmm. idiotic way mm -hmm. that the mayor and the DA runs the show. Mm -hmm. and, you know, let me say this to you. Then we claim we are stable. Mm -hmm. The only reason why we're stable, I'm going to tell you, Frankly, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you now. Uh, actually, this is uh, people are gonna dislike what I'm saying. Mm. It's because of the people of color in the Western Cape. Mm. I'm saying it again, the people of color in the Western Cape. Do you know why? Mm. The people of color got a history of core history. Mm. Okay, they they indi they indigenous to the ground. Yeah. When you own something which is yours rightfully, you're gonna mm. look after it. That's right. If you look at the history mm -hmm. uh, from the Koi people right back to 1652, 1600, 1530, mm -hmm. you look right back 1400, you will, mm -hmm. you will, you will see that the Koi were people actually fact giving fresh water to the sailors. Do you know there was a thousand ships passing in 16, 1600, uh, 1601, mm -hmm. and they gave it was a place to be refreshed, mm -hmm. to be nursed. The Koi was doing that. Mm -hmm. They were giving out freely. Yeah. 
so when you talk about stability in the Western Cape, it is not the millionaires. The millionaires are sitting in in, in Joburg. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. I saw this other guy, this foolish guy. What's his name? Uh, he's apparently he calls himself a billionaire. Uh, I, don't, I can't get to his name. Now. <laughs> Talking about he wanted to claim to buy the airports and was criticizing government. You know, it's all and well. If, mm -hmm. they, if they want to. If they con if they're gonna contribute, contribute. Mm -hmm. But don't talk. It's like a FIFA match. Yeah. We've got a lot of coaches in FIFA. That's you right. Know, <laughs> FIFA twenty 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 FIFA twenty twenty three twenty two. We had coaches I think that's one of the coaches. Mm -hmm. If they don't want to invest, they must keep their mouth shut. They don't mm -hmm. want to do something, keep them don't talk. Mm -hmm. Do something about it. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, um, get involved. Uh, get uh, get call business meetings. Yeah. Train businesses. Yeah. Um, uh, call a business conference. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, those sort of things. Invite people to parliament. Mm -hmm. Get business guys into parliament. Train them. Yeah. Run courses. Mm -hmm. Access money to them. Mm -hmm. um, so, one more thing. Mm -hmm. One more thing. So when you look at the financials of the city, if you look at the financials, you remember if you run a company, a company is run on IFRS financials. Yes. Uh, to make profit. Municipality financials run and grab. Mm -mm. And the whole issue is not to make profit, but to be accountable. Mm -mm. To be accountable. Grab is to be accountable on your municipality finance. Okay. The problem here is this. In grab, you're just accountable to money that is not yours. Mm -mm. So I take from you, you're the rate payer. Mm. I take from you and I spend. Mm. I take from you and I spend. Yeah. A business does this. I sell to you. I work that money to make profit and I sell to get great clients That's and make right. my circle or my sphere of influence mm -hmm. bigger. In Grab, I do not do that. Mm -hmm. So what has happened is that city officials are not businessmen. Mm. So they do not know how to work with city mm. money. Mm. If, if you have 50 billion allocated, yeah. you should have after uh, a year or so, you should have, or after five years, you should be able to say, yes, 50 bi 50, yes, 80 billion back. If I mm. got 80 billion mm. in my budget, I think mm. it's what, 60 billion? Yeah. I should make profit on that 60 billion. Mm -mm. Let's look at the stadium, for example. Mm -mm. The stadium, look how foolish these guys are. Mm -mm. The stadium they built, it now apparently a white elephant. Mm. Just standing there. They give the stadium over to DHL. Mm -mm. DHL um, gets the rugby season going. Mm. Tickets are sold for about 500 to 1,000 then. I don't know the price. 40,000, so we can 40,000 people, 40,000, 1,000 then. That's 40 mm. million, one mm -hmm. match. How many matches did how many matches did not, not have every month? They have a lot, they have at least four. How come mm -hmm. the city could not do that? The mm -hmm. city could have got a marketing team together, yeah. made the money, put the money back into, if they were really serious about community. Mm -hmm. You know the mm -hmm. lies is guys spin for years and years yeah. and yeah. years. Uh, and, and the problem is with the people of color. Mm -hmm. okay. We love, Blue eyes too much, mm -hmm. light skin too much. Yeah. Uh, it, it, mm -hmm. We've been indoctrinated so much. We, we believe that if somebody is white, what he's saying is more is more authority. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he is rech. That's yeah. utter nonsense. Mm -hmm. You know, they they're probably one of the most worst business people to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, irregular mm -hmm. uh, um, expenditure proven in them um, ways of doing business. Y mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I detest that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's from that point of view. Yeah. I don't want to talk about ESCOM, but okay. <laughs> and and, and that, that is the thing, this is why, as we go over to ESCOM, the 780 million, as mentioned, could have been helped to help our local businesses with inverters, with solar panels, stuff like that. You know, it would have made the economy better for our people. But as the leader as of ARA, right, let's say you win in mm -hmm. 2024. I mean, nothing is impossible anymore. We saw last week that Al Jamas mm -hmm. um, candidate became the mayor of, uh, what's the place name, of, uh, of, of yeah. Gauteng. Yeah. Nothing is impossible anymore with the smaller parties because people are starting to move away from the bigger parties. Yeah. What is the first thing? I mean, our biggest problem now in Cape Town, in South Africa, is crime. The open borders. Yeah. Um, that, that, that two things. Just focus on it. What, what would you do differently to make sure we get crime under control? And what will we do with the open borders? Open borders, you must shut the borders. Mm -mm. Get rid of petition the law. That's mm -mm. that's running. Uh, um, uh, what's the thing? Um, infrastructure, not yeah. infrastructure. But she, um, she built a wall for one point one point five mm -mm. meters high. Get rid of that. Mm -mm. Build a proper wall. Lift yeah. the wall up. In, uh, employ a bigger border control. Now we took about the population being about what uh, sixty four million in South Africa. Mm -mm. What if the population is about already eighty million people to a ninety million people? This is why infrastructure cannot hold. Yeah. 
Uh, we got a water supply, food supply. Uh, we got, lo we got, we got, we need, we got a food shortage, water mm. shortage, yeah. electricity shortage. Uh, you, you know, so our population most likely is going to about 90 million. Mm -mm. We got so many f foreigners coming in. Now, I'm not against foreigners, but you can mm -hmm. have to have an uh, independent South Africa. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 South Africa that's patriotic. Uh, people that love no. it. You cannot, you cannot heal in Africa mm -mm. if South Africa is not healed. Mm -mm. You uh, you gotta you gotta fix your country before you can fix the African nations. Yes, yeah. Africa is way ahead mm -mm. of the rest of Africa itself. First thing, border 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 control, border patrol. Mm -mm. St deal with all the issues at the borders because there's a lot of. Um, 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 you know, uh, 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 payments that's taking place to mm -hmm. get over and cross mm -hmm. the border. Uh, document the cases. And mm -hmm. actually, what I would tell mm -hmm. is that foreigners that comes in, yeah. I will actually put them, I'll put tents up, first of mm -hmm. all. Put them all in tents. Yeah. I'm not allowing them to come in. Yeah. And for there's qualified foreigners to, that's coming in. There's, mm -hmm. Okay, there's qualified guys. So there is a brain drain leaving South Africa mm -hmm. and there's a brain drain coming in. Yeah. So South Africa must be wise because there's two things we can do. Mm -hmm. We can close the borders, yeah, and and we have to do it temporarily. With us, we have to do at least close the borders for for two years and mm -hmm. fix our mess, mm -hmm. okay. And then we gotta we gotta. There's some people who gotta deport. Uh, now uh, in in Johannesburg, a lot of foreigners are actually fake. Mm -hmm. A lot of lot of lot of some Babuans mm -hmm. in 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 Gauteng yeah. are actually fake gangsters. They are they are the, the they are the crooks. Mm -hmm. So some that's good, some that's, so you gotta you gotta sort that, that mess out. Mm -mm. Now, now remember this whole issue started with the ANC. Eh? That's right. ANC brought open the borders, mm -mm. gave them passports to mm -mm. vote mm -mm. in 1994, 19, and the, and yeah. the 1999 election. It was mm -mm. the ANC that brought mm -mm. it. It is a mess they caused. Yeah. Now, in, in the government, that's 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 from the border control. Mm -mm. So this will be a massive border operation, mm -mm. and and doing the border will also create employment. Building yeah. the border and getting secure will will mm -mm. will sort that. That's number one. You asked me border. Mm -mm. Okay. Second thing you asked me was crime. Crime, yes. Cape Town is the biggest name in crime. That's right. right. Your investors are fleeing. Mm -mm. Okay. So what you should you do? Crime is actually very easy to sort out. Mm -mm. Other tax in power, I guarantee for six months crime will go down. Mm -mm. In six months' time. Six months. I can tell mm -hmm. you six months. Mm -hmm. Why? You got a lot of people that are uh, cops of friends with gangsters. Mm -hmm. Gangsters. You know. Let me say this to you. Uh, we deal with gang leaders, mm -hmm. and, and and most of them are there to build the community. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. some of them do not even involve in a drug trade. Yeah. But you got to deal with the underhanding, the 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 the, the, the corruptness you got to mm -hmm. deal with. You know, I'm speaking here. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people getting upset. Getting upset. Yeah. A lot of people getting mm -hmm. upset. A lot of people will get upset, and they're not going to like it because you are dealing with issues where corruption, uh, paying somebody under the table has to end. Mm -hmm. Let's do some do things right. Yeah. If you're going to struggle, struggle. You will struggle for a season, but thereafter you will you will you will grow and so forth mm -hmm. in your business, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's sacrifices that people must do. If yeah. you if you're going to want to do things right or do things right or uh, live right in South Africa, then just pay a price for it. You mm -hmm. know, those material things, n driving a nice car, driving a, uh, you, you know, those things, mm -hmm. you, you're gonna die one day. What have you done for your, what have you done for your children? Mm -hmm. What have you done for your 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 neighbour, your community? That's right. You know, you're gonna sit in the grave. You're gonna go to the grave. You you got nothing there, nothing mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. So people are too hooked on, and sometimes on in crime, they're too hooked on uh, how and uh, how how can I become. Wearing the nice shoes, the brands, and so forth, which is really mm -hmm. a, a nice sort of thing. So, use the word, the word gangster. Mm -mm. The, I would, I would tell you, the word gangster. If you say you're a gangster, mm -mm. if Ara, Ara uh, is in control, mm -mm. if you say you're a gangster, you'll be locked up immediately. Mm -mm. The word gangster will be just like you use the word uh, when you use a derogatory term yeah, right yeah. now, you know, in color, and yeah. you say. We call a, a black guy or a mm -hmm. person, call them names, derogative mm -hmm. racial mm -hmm. names. You can go to jail. So, yeah. in that case, if you were you would, I'm a gangster. It's like mm -hmm. when you're on a plane. Mm -hmm. I, I'm carrying a bomb. Yeah. You're locked up. You in get me. locked up. Yeah. So we treated. We have to treat it. We got to treat it heavily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deal with corrupt police officers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, take a billboards. Take off the naked woman mm -hmm. advertising their bras mm -hmm. and all this crap. Mm -hmm. Put on. Let's educate or mm. let's educate ourselves. You know, yeah. gangsters and broods because of educa less education. Mm. So if a mother 
and the child and the child does not go to school. If the child is at home, the mother must be either arrested, mm -mm. and the child must be placed somewhere else because she is not competent to look after the child. Yeah. All right. And that's where our social issue comes in. You know, we got a problem. Do you know in South in Cape, in, Cape, in South Africa, we have less and less social workers. Yeah, we we do have. A big when problem. last did you speak to a social worker? There's well, one. There's one probably per area. This is bad. This yeah. Social workers was the was the thing. We need mm. more social workers. Mm -mm. We need more farmers. We mm -mm. need to get guys that are on the street. Give them a job. Yeah. You know, uh, give them a job. And you'll be surprised how these people work. Mm -mm. Okay. So that's that's just on. So there's a lot of questions coming in, but I'm not going to look at the questions now. I'll look at the questions a bit later on. But I want to going on a topic that you've you've mentioned okay. something very very important there now. Education. Yeah. We don't have a lot of schools. Not, in our community on the Cape Flats and yeah. in Cape Town, we haven't really... Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about Cape Flats. Yeah. We haven't built any new schools. It's maybe one or two schools. Um, we have a problem with children don't go to school. We have a dropout rate of 13, 12 years old. Even before that, people don't... People, some children are 21 years old. They don't even have an ID. They don't even know when, when they were born. Mm. You've mentioned something about um, the parents should be locked up. And, and as a pastor also, because this is also now on the other side of you, do you think that we as parents have um, outsourced our responsibility to government? Mm -hmm. I agree. And the other thing is this, how would you take on education? Because education, as you know, as a boy from the Cape Flats, education is potentially the antidote to poverty. What would you do in our educational system to make sure our kids do go to school? I'm just going to backtrack quickly. Okay. I'm going to give you education. Stan, did you know that Israel is no gangsters? Mm. Okay. There's no gangsters in Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, you ask yourself <coughs> why. The point is that every person is enrolled to go to, to the army mm -hmm. for the education. Mm -hmm. So our education in South Africa is bad, very bad. Yeah. We've, we've, our, we've, we've probably dropped. We were number one, number two in Africa. UCT has dropped to mm -hmm. number 100 and I think 180 mm -hmm. on the world rankings of universities. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think they're going to number 200 now. Our education is bad. Mm -hmm. You know, our kids are not, our, t our kids are taught, what is this thing called consumers? Mm -hmm. Our kids are taught, nobody's taught robotics. <coughs> Robo nobody's taught computer analytics. Mm -hmm. uh, the main things you need is called STEM. Mm -hmm. It's normally your science, okay, technology, mm -hmm. English and your maths, okay, standard languages, although I'm not so keen on English, but just for its <laughs> sake, yeah. you know. Uh, I, I believe English is a, no, English is a, okay, I shouldn't say it, but <laughs> <laughs> English is a, uh, okay. Yeah, our, our education will system will change. Mm -hmm. Drastically will change because we've got probably one of the worst systems in place. We do. No, very bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you want to say something. I mean, we still have 40 to 50 students in a class. Yeah. In order for me to make sure my, my child goes to a school where there's 20 children, on, I need to pay maybe 30, 40,000 in a year for my child's school fees. Many of our parents on the Cape Flats can't afford that. So that is what I wanted to actually just add it. We've got good teachers leaving the schools. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. We got a, a bad department heads, mm -hmm. bad. I mean, I mean this, this, uh, they're all asking a solution. Mm -hmm. How do we fix the discipline at school? Yeah. Kids are fighting teachers. That's right. Okay. Now you can't learn. There are a lot of kids that mm -hmm. want to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, kids are fighting the teachers. Now mm -hmm. you ask the question, you can't discipline the children any longer. Mm -hmm. No, because now it's so-called, um, you know, it's going to be called abuse. Mm -hmm. the, pair, the teacher is spending eight hours of the day mm -hmm. with the kid. Kid goes home, and the, and and the parents expect the children mm -hmm. to be okay. So we got a system in government that's indoctrinated our children, and we got a, we train in a, in a in a form of thinking mm -hmm. it's like what they've done in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. You know, after the after the war, the World War, mm -hmm. the, the war. Actually, in fact, they're schooling they they the battery system of school. Mm -hmm. So they train the school into thinking a certain way, mm -hmm. right? Um, um, because of the, 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 the schooling was studied in a certain way and they were indoctrinated in the kids. This is our same system in South Africa where we're heading towards. It's a, it's a bad education system. we got to bring in new progress. we got to bring in our children are irrelevant. You, you know, you, you start, I'm, I'm now doing, I'm now doing um, um, concurrently two degrees mm. I'm right now. Awesome. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm gonna, well, the reason mm. why I'm telling you that. Mm -mm. Um, I'm studying internationally as well, mm -hmm. okay? And that degree is probably 
um, 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 accredited twice over in the European Union and mm. Germany and so mm. forth. But the service delivery of that degree, mm. comparable to South African mm -hmm. standards, we are far out away, far mm. out away. I mm -hmm. mean, bad. Um, the knowledge there, the way the concepts, completely different to South African form mm. of education. There mm. are some schools here and there I would say that's good and so yeah. on, but our education must be a radical change. You know, mm. the radical, what is our, you, you should, in education, mm -mm. education is actually a blessing because you train the kids in the need of the country. That's right. Okay. Mm. Our, what does a country need? Mm. That's what we need. You don't train, the schooling we have right now, mm. are training people to be blank, to be dancers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and TikTok promoters. <laughs> it was yeah. a dancer, the, uh, the, actor, the actors, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you, there's some degrees you mustn't study as a waste of mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, uh, I'm not going to say something, <laughs> but there's some people watching. Yeah. You know? So you've got to sway your, your community mm -hmm. or your education level. Like, for example, Western Cape. Do you know that we are producing products for NASA in mm -hmm. Stellenbosch? Mm -hmm. Nobody's unaware of it. We, we, so we need engineers. Yeah. Our education system should cater now, getting people involved, engineering and science, making physics fun for mm -mm. people. Mm -mm. All right? Physics competitions, yeah. chemistry competitions. Yeah. This is the need we have. We need more doctors. We don't need uh, um, 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 doctors from, uh, what's this place? From Columbia, yeah. Col that's actually, that's the, that's yeah. that was also a, a hoax. A lot of the doctors came in. Yeah. And we have doctors. Yeah, we have doctors. We actually fact. Uh, what was it? Two hundred and some doctors came in, and we were paying mm. about we were paying eighty dollars per month. Mm. It was ridiculous. Mm. So, so, so. You you need engineers. Mm -hmm. You need electricians in South Africa. Mm -hmm. You need you need actually plumbers. You, you, you know bricklayers. We need to build the, the infrastructure. It was, uh, we need to we need to build. We need to have our own system to build computers. Mm -hmm. We need we need uh, education in farming. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we had three hundred thousand farmers in nineteen ninety four. 300,000. 300,000. Today, mm -mm. we have 60, less than 60,000 farmers. So um, almost 200 and how much was it? 240,000 left. left. You got a f we are, we are, we're heading towards a food, we have got a food crisis already. Mm -mm. I always tell people, we all like, we like chicken. Mm -mm. You know why South Africa likes soccer? Because mm -mm. all our soccer, all our chicken comes from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Most of them, and yeah. we get this cheap chicken from mm -mm. the USA. Mm -mm. So we've got a key here. For the next 10 years, next 20 years, where do you want to see South Africa in STEO mm -hmm. education to that direction? Mm -hmm. You mentioned something very interesting. We have the land. Uh -huh. We have, we can obviously train the skills. Yeah. So that we can, we don't have, so that we don't have a, a lack in food. Mm -hmm. But the problem is this, if you spend money irregularly, yeah. you're enriching yourself. I mean, you know, comrade employment or, um, what do you call it? Yeah. yeah. They look after one another. Call them cadre. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the problem, Doc, is that you have these BE things where we, we look after that one another, but we're not looking after the people. The people have become so dependent mm -hmm. on the 350. 7.4 million, there's 7.4 million taxpayers, and there's 20, I think it's 29 million um, mm -hmm. grant um, receivers. How will you change that number around? Because it's not, the, the, the amount of um, taxpayers should be more than mm -hmm. the people receiving grants. Okay, so, 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 I think we're just calling this, there's about 13 million, 11 million, you're right, mm -hmm. taxpayers plus minus, and mm -hmm. it's, the, and it's, and it's, and the shocking part of it is that taxpayers are leaving South Africa, mm -hmm. okay, okay, what do we do? You're three for, you can't give a 350 out for doing nothing. Yeah. So our, our government is actual fact, we're becoming a socialist government. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we mixing communism with socialism. We give out money for free. Mm -mm. We're telling people um, stand in line, get your three fifty. You, you know we are conditioning our people. Mm -mm. You know, uh, let, me say, let me tell you about pension. I, I want you to uh, maybe this is hard to digest to people. Mm -mm. People stand in line with pension. People can't wait to get their pension, not knowing that these people have as knowledge to give to our generation. Mm -mm. To pass on a, a skill, mm -mm. so government is, is almost like you know government has put people into a box that they are so dependent on government. You know, government's job is not to create dependency on government. Mm. That's but never they, government's but, job. But they're doing it. They're doing it, mm. and that's the problem. You can't create. Everybody wants to work for government. Mm. 
councils all want to work for government. You know, you know, people actually go to council because they don't have a job. You know, yeah. it's actually, yeah. no, that's a fact. Yeah. It's, it's actually people looking for a job mm -mm. that's going to council. <laughs> people <laughs> looking for a job. Mm -hmm. How can jobless people that get a job in council, okay, there's a council, mm -hmm. I'm saying it on purpose so they can hear it, mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's everybody in the DA, that's everybody in the ANC, that's everybody in the EFF, that's everybody in whatever, whatever, whatever party. Oh, guys are all businessmen, by the way, mm -hmm. that's going, that's, mm -hmm. that's in either or it's in council and so forth. Now, how can a job seeker mm -mm. that gets a job create jobs? Can't. He has never created jobs in his entire life. Mm. Okay, so you're 350 grand. You should have a program. People should actually, there should be a merit program. Mm. You know, get managers involved. Yeah. Clean the street, tick mm -mm. off. Yeah. Clean, uh, uh, um, uh, we give you paint, 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 the, paint, the, paint the places. Mm -hmm. Clean it up, no, yeah. uh, make it smart. Yeah. Train them a bit in uh, horticulture, mm -hmm. plant trees in the streets. Mm -hmm. Your Cape Flats will look, will look beautiful. Yeah. If the if you look at Century City, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people I think watching from across the <laughs> across the <laughs> South Africa. But we're talking a lot of Western Cape yeah. now, and um, and Ada's not just a Western Cape mm -hmm. party. I must tell you because it has nationally just exploded. But you can have a Century City mm -hmm. in your Athlon, mm -hmm. in your Kailicha. Mm -hmm. In your in your in your Mitchell's plane, train the user seven fifty and then with uh, the three hundred and fifty. So what happens is that when somebody gets a credit for the for the for the week mm -hmm. or the two weeks or three weeks, he goes stand lining, he gets his three hundred and fifty, stamped off because he done mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. You are training mm -hmm. this government is training a nation to be lazy. We we are really sitting with a problem. Yeah, people are waiting for handouts. I mean, doc, if if you go, even in the eleven deal. And they go, I'm going to pass a kiss course, and then you want to bless somebody. They're going to ask, can't I clean your garden for you? Can't I clean? I think we have already, that is already there, like I said also earlier on, we've outsourced our responsibility to government by raising kids. Mm -hmm. Because we've already done that. Mm -hmm. So, Doc, you grew up on the Cape Flats. Yeah. 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 Alan Wingy has reports of how the 28 gang have infiltrated. Yeah, but you know, the, let me talk about the premier. <laughs> That's another waste. Yeah, I, I don't know why that guy's the premier. Yeah. I don't know, you know, uh, have you, when was he see the premier anywhere on television? Mm -hmm. the, uh, there's a, the guy's a waste. Mm -hmm. you, uh, this mayor, Gordon, this is a waste of time. You only, I only saw him with the page running around, clean all it, clean all it. I think the only thing that was clean was the page. Yeah. These guys are ridiculous. You mm -hmm. know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, my, honestly, I wouldn't even listen to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're idiots, uh, plain and simple. You know, uh, uh, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. we did no. over past two and mm -hmm. so forth. But <laughs> these guys are idiots. Okay, so so. And, and I think though, just, just to come, you said you are your pastor, but I think also sometimes we have to be honest. Yeah. I think we're not being honest out here, telling people the truth. I think everybody's not expecting Dr. Jerome to to say sow a seed and all that. But we need to actually. <laughs> We need, <laughs> to, we, <laughs> we need to be honest yeah. because yeah, man, our country, also, also country is in a yeah. you know. So, yeah. like you say, working, unemployment, we are creating yeah. a bunch of people that want handouts. I agree with you. Because now it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy for any political party to go out there now the, for, before 2024. I will bright you for Allah. I songs. Vote for us. Give us a I think. We need to also educate the people not to, yeah. to follow that trend. It's a trend that politicians created for themselves so that they can take you know, power over our people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with you. You know, when Ara is going to take over, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be the, probably the first time. Now, I don't believe mm -hmm. the ANC is going to get more than 50%. Mm -hmm. Nine, no. 20, no, no, this. If we get more than, if they get more than 50%, mm -hmm. yeah. then they've either crooked the books mm -hmm. The rig the voting system, mm -hmm. or South Africans are just plain blind, mm -hmm. stupid, lazy, living off handouts. Now they do, they do pay people for votes. Okay, mm -hmm. you know the, the you know the, the the their election, you know the presidential election cost about a couple of billion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean by this? Yeah, right? yeah. Um, uh, brown envelopes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not afraid to say it because people do hear this, no, yeah, hear this yeah. nonsense. So you're going to see for the first time under other rule, your cabinet is going to work. Mm -hmm. 
They're going to work. They're going to work. They're going to be out. They're going to be working. They're yeah. going to be not just looking at how to change um, um, legislation um, and, and, and fixing something. They're going to work. You're going to you're going to first time you're going to see South Africa is actually going to go to work. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's what I'm saying. Just on Parliament, mm -hmm. not uh, on um, 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 the candidates. Mm -hmm. Doc, you, you mentioned something earlier about also about the the councillors that is businessmen. Yeah. Now now there is quite there is yeah. there is something that I think people need to understand as well. If he can't create or she can't create employment for herself and others, then they're not leaders. Mm -hmm. I feel that the leaders would have that ability to create jobs. And your counselors are businessmen. Mm -hmm. You've also mentioned, and I know there's posting and there's, there's things going around, where your counselors, family counselors are giving from their money, employing somebody, some other people. I think you, I think it's in, that's out of the world in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Steamboat where, yeah, yeah. where he is currently employing ex-gangsters yeah, yeah. and, and, and so on. Ten, 10 or 12, 12 of them, yeah. And they go out and they clean the communities. Yeah. Tell us more about it because people don't know about it. I can get rain now. I was like, I can't go. Sinegiel is a pink and, and a swat and wit mire. It's obviously them painting it. Tell us more about it because people don't know that you guys have been busy. You guys ca came into power as Ara. With, yeah. the first with the first elections in 2020, 2021. 2021, yes. So you got two seats. Yeah, we had a month, we had a month. A month. We had a month, we had a month. month. That is better than many other parties. Some of the parties got one seat. Some of the big parties that, that, that protested nationally. You started with two seats. You just, you had a month. Mm. What do you expect now? So just before we get to what you expect, but tell us more about the councillor that is actually employing people, gangsters, ex-gangsters. Okay, that ward specifically, I think it's ward 67, if I'm correct. Um, 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 and of course, your second question. But they actually affect, what do these guys do? They clean, they mm. clean the drains, they mm -mm. go around fixing houses or so forth. Mm -mm. You know, it's interesting, they clean 315 mm. drains. I'm speaking to correction. Mm -mm. In one week. 315. 315 drains. Mm. I don't know if it's a. The council comes back. The council comes back. This the first time the drains are clean after five years. Mm. Now, now Le uh, leader Malcolm is not the only one mm -mm. that's doing this work. There's yeah. other leaders as well. Mm -mm. But under uh, uh, the council comes back and wants to issue them a fine. Mm -mm. Do you know why? Because the council says they can't clean the drains because mm -mm. they destroy. They're destroying the infrastructure. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. The behavior we're sitting mm -hmm. with, you know. Uh, um, um, <laughs> so these guys go in, they clean, they, they, they help, they build, they, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of these guys. And restitution, restoration is taking place because of one gangster, mm -hmm. um, ref they ref re being reformed. Yeah. And so they're making right with others. You know, yeah. the mother of the one gangster said this, well, she was weeping. She said, I never thought my son would one day mm -hmm. uh, uh, clean up his own community. Wow instead of destroying. Mm -hmm. The mother cried mm -hmm. because he came out of jail and mm -hmm. so forth. So men that come out are actual fact they are good people. Mm -hmm. They don't have the opportunity but they're good guys. Mm -hmm. They never had the opportunity, the chance to to uh, to do something good because everybody viewed them as bad. Mm -hmm. And so other came along and these the guys are you know, they might not get a job uh, because of the police record, mm -hmm. but the guys are cleaning, they are fixing, they are feeding, they're mm -hmm. handing out bread, they're mm -hmm. helping people. Um, and for them, it's it's a pride. I'm getting a job. It's mm. a pride. I'm earning a hundred rand. It's a pride yeah. to take them home to say, "Mommy, here's something." Mm -hmm. To the children here, I'm buying something for the mm -hmm. kids. So that's a, that's a wonderful testimony, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's happening in different worlds as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second question you asked me was. I get over it. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me something interesting. It, I could, could it, it was the. Um, it was about the, uh, the, the councillors. Okay, and, and where do you see yourself? What can we expect? Listen, I must tell you, Stan, you know, sorry to say this. Mm -hmm. And where do we see ourselves? But before that, our councillors, there's what I'm, I'm, I'm minimizing this so mm -hmm. much. You know, we actually got a flyer that we're going to be giving out mm -hmm. of what the councillors were doing. Mm -hmm. It's just two councillors. Yeah. Um, what they are doing mm -hmm. uh, and so forth in their wards, mm -hmm. uh, uh, respectively. And there's so much they do. I yeah. mean, every day, I'm just, you know, Cleaning that drain is probably one small fraction mm -hmm. of what they, they're doing. So I'm doing an injustice. But what do we expect in 2024? Mm -hmm. We're expecting about um, we're expecting about 500,000 votes. 500,000. We're looking a, for okay. That, that's uh, that's uh, 
that's a mammoth task. Mm -hmm. and a lot of the parties never. But we are looking at 500,000 votes. Mm -hmm. The way it's going, people are joining. You know, people are besides being positive, people mm -hmm. seeing it's the genuine side. People yeah. are moving from different parties yeah. and so forth, yeah. and we welcome them. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to say this to you. Uh, um, I'm going to say this parties that's going to join other. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to have to come and learn, and not mm. because we're being, we're being, we're, we're not trying to be, um, um, what's the word, bullish or mm. prideful. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, I, I won't be surprised if if one of the big parties come and join other, mm. join other, mm -hmm. and 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 really they're going to have yeah. to learn. It yeah. doesn't, uh, and we've got we've got a lot a lot to share, mm. what to do and how to do it. Mm -hmm. This thing about playing games is the time is over. Mm. We can't waste any more time. We're doing this for our children. Mm. We're doing this for, for our nation. We're mm. doing for, uh, you know, what we perceive South Africa is going to, mm. where we're going to end. Yeah. You know, the only reason between Zimbabwe and South Africa, you know, do you, do you know it started out with blackouts as well? In Zimbabwe, it started out with black, blackouts. Exactly. Losing their farms. Mm. Zimbabwe is called the bread mm. basket of, South mm. of Africa. Africa yeah. the, the, the currency was strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were, the, you know, some baboons come here, the most, they're mm. educated, very mm. educated. Yes. Um, um, they win, they plummeted. Mm. The only reason why it's not happened in South Africa, the population of Zimbabwe is, uh, was 9 million, South Africa 60 million. Mm. It's happening on a slower pace. Mm -hmm. So blackouts are taking place and so forth. Um, and so forth. So where do I see ourselves? We do see ourselves uh, in a very prominent position in, mm -hmm. in, in, in 2024. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be the start. Mm -hmm. You never know, we might even win. We, we might even, uh, because it's a big coalition government, mm -hmm. we might even have a chance to, uh, to rule. Yeah. The whole game is going to change. Yeah. So Africa is going to have its independence back. And so Africa won't be told by the USA what to do. Mm. We're not run to like uh, Cyril is running to Biden. Yeah. Uh, he's a, he's a sunny, he, he attends Sunday school <laughs> by Biden. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, he gets his lessons, he's summoned, mm. you know? And, and so, uh, you, 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 you're not going to have this influences. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're not going to have a sellout in South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 maybe I'm just touching the energy thing quickly. Um, the rollout of energy. You know, we we got, so we got some of the brilliant minds that is with South Africa, whether it's with Ara. Mm -hmm. Some of, some of the the top energy researchers that's with Ara. Mm -hmm. And I saw one of the articles that were saying they're going to bring in 500 megawatts into South Africa, 500,000 mm -hmm. megawatts. And I I laughed about it because, you know, we are sitting in a position where there are agreements signed with the land already. Mm -hmm. We can bring in seven gig uh, gig uh, gigawatts of electricity, 8 gigawatts of electricity into the grid. The mm -hmm. problem is that the grid is going to collapse. It's going to collapse, yeah. It's going to collapse. Yes. And we, there's a couple of things that we're not ready with the grid. Sustain, we, we can't, we don't store energy. Mm -hmm. Our distribution of energy mm -hmm. is, 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 is not what it is. It's mm -hmm. going to collapse. So storage is one. Mm -hmm. And so uh, somebody said these words, one of our team members is, uh, uh, what Pravan Gordon knows about energy is like a great R. <laughs> you know? Uh, and, 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 and it's sad because mm -hmm. Load shedding is here to stay because people are not willing to change. That's right. And the plan that, I don't know what, what, what those mayors plan to do, I mean, mm. um, what, what they are planning to do, but this can be sorted out, it can be quite sorted out. Mm. Listen, I said six months, seven months, our team was talking, seven months, we can have load shedding dealt with in the Western Cape. Mm. Normal okay. load shedding. No, no, you, you know, you, you got, you got uranium mm -hmm. in South Africa energy. You got you got you got gas. Mm -hmm. You got coal. Mm -hmm. You got wind. You got hydropower. The problem with energy in South Africa, ninety percent, ninety five, ninety actually ninety nine percent of all energy mm -hmm. is coal. Mm -hmm. So we got a coal mafia. That's right. We got an ESCOM mafia. Mm -hmm. Board of directors. Almost mm -hmm. be fired. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this to you. This government is planning to collapse at ESCOM. Mm. I can tell you this now because. Patrice is probably going to buy up ESCOM through Rainbow Energy. Yeah, yeah that is what everybody... Yeah, uh, it, uh, but it's, it's a plan. It, mm -hmm. You can see this. It's, it's a plan to collapse es mm -hmm. ESCOM. And mm -hmm. uh, um, so, and that's going to make them the richest family in the whole of Africa and mm -hmm. also in, in the world. Mm -hmm. So, South Africa suffering with it. The economy is going to suffer mm -hmm. with it. And they're going to rape the nation. Mm -hmm. when, they rape, when they finish rape the nation, we're gonna, mm -hmm. what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. what? This is why Ara is doing what we are doing. Yeah. And then you actually mentioned what most of the uh, state-owned enterprises, yeah. they have, they've made sure that it doesn't function properly. I mean, the post office. Uh, somebody sent me a package last year, uh, June June month, 
-hmm. It only arrived two weeks ago <laughs> from from Croatia. That is the state of 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 our of our um, post office. Um, SAA, I believe it has been sold. They, they've been quiet now because there's happening some some BE stuff there. ESCOM is one of our biggest, um, you know, assets because it creates um, energy for businesses, it creates jobs, and if they collapse that, I mean, Petris Mosepe, I think people need to look more deeper into this. Petris Mosepe, he's got his finger in all the pies. He's already, he's, he's already grown over, you know, he's, he's, in the, he's, in the, he's, in the, he's a service provider on his own, he's insurance, everything. And I think this is the problem that we have is that this government are looking only after themselves. It has been going like this, and I think people need to wake up. They're giving you 350, yeah. but they're taking billions. Can, can I just tell you something about <laughs> that family? So, you know what the group does? Mm -mm. There's something worse coming. So, you got Cyril, mm -mm. you got Patrice, yeah. and you get, uh, what's, who's the one in sports? Uh, the brother. They're all married in. Yeah, yeah, they're all married the to the brothers. same sisters. Yeah. The same sisters, okay. Yeah. So, the one has international relationships. Mm -mm. The one is controlling the economy, and the one is controlling the presidency. Mm. So you got a family running the whole of South Africa, mm. which is a dangerous, uh, dangerous play. That's right. Um, um, because Patrice is so close to the president, mm. it, they should actually, he should actually, either he resigns, mm. or Patrice should, there should be a, it, it's too much at arm's length. Mm. The agreement is too much at arm's length, and mm. it's irregular mm. for that family uh, um, um, uh, to sit around the same pot like mm -hmm. that. South Africa is their pot. So you already got problems there. And I think that is the, not only them, the children are also, I mean, Cyril, mm -hmm. the, I don't know what you should take on the fala fala. I think the problem with that is he said with currency, he didn't sit with, with, with millions of rands, he said with, with currency, you can only have a, a certain amount of dollars. You <laughs> know. <laughs> Let me tell you about Cyril. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of furniture, furniture <laughs> sales mm. during lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Okay. People moving. You know. Okay. I, I, you know, a lot of things I don't want to tell you. But <laughs> was the FBI moving furniture with sales money? No, no. I'm saying mm -hmm. this to you. Mm -hmm. And moving dollars. Mm -hmm. Who, how did the dollars move? Mm -hmm. So people think it's only four, four million. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. You are talking about this close to a billion missing? Mm -hmm. Billion, yes. There's billion. a billion. There's yeah. much more yeah. than what we think. It's only a million. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that well, what do I say? Uh, uh, Four million dollars. No, no, it's much more. Mm -hmm. The Sudanese mm -hmm. businessman, uh, you know, that was a fictitious guy that yeah. that he appeared on, uh, I think, uh, the English news, and then somehow he couldn't answer the questions mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of furniture removals taking place. No, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of things that people think it's a hoax mm -mm. or uh, it's a what you call it a, a fable or not a true mm -hmm. story. A lot of things are happening. By this, and this happened during COVID. Furniture was moved during COVID. Yeah. So yeah. we must check his sofa. Yeah. We must check his fridge. <laughs> yeah. We must check his, his bed. <laughs> his bed. <laughs> uh -uh. You know, it's funny. It's, it's it's you know we laugh about it today, but if we got a funny government. Eh? We do. We got, we got, we got, we got uh, Laurel and Hardy in the <laughs> show. You know, we, and they're getting away with it. Yeah. They're getting away with it. Doc, something that you say that you've mentioned earlier on, and I think we want to focus on it, is on the Premier. Yeah. I think the Premier is similar to the, uh, like the, the President's power here, here in Cape Town. Um, do, you, do you feel that the Premier could do more? Firstly, I want to say to you, the Premier... I don't know what they're doing. That's number, mm -hmm. one, number one. I don't think they you know the job what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, I think these people just get they they get a job. Uh, That's what they do. Mm -hmm. Doing pounds up to send the tenders to their friends and colleagues, and, mm -hmm. and, and maybe was investigate some politicians that even uh, the lull them uh, not the, um, what's them result with the tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the R twenty seven with us, you know, uh, with the three hundred million tender that mm -hmm. took place. So the, 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 these guys. We should. Have, the council of provinces must be investigated. Mm -hmm. If we should become presidents, I'm going to tell you something. The council of provinces should be investigated. The premiers should be. Mm -hmm. What is the the job function? You know, they got a they got an oversight function. These people just have. A, how do you get paid for oversight? Mm -hmm. This is what premiers are. they get paid for paid for oversight. They just they oversee mm -hmm. on part of because uh, on part of the president they oversee the province. Mm -hmm. You know, the last 2020, I think it was 2020, 2019, mm -hmm. they said, we will sort out the railway system in the province, which is a lie because mm -hmm. it's a national issue. Mm -hmm. We will sort out crime 
uh, um, and we'll do more policing, which is a lie because police is a national issue. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fall under uh, 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 the, the province. It mm -hmm. falls under national, mm -hmm. the president itself. So the, they lied again to be mm -hmm. in power. Mm -hmm. Cape Town has bought the lie. Mm -hmm. Um, and so many other, uh, Joburg has uh, bought the lie of the, uh, the ANC. Yeah. So it's jobless people looking okay. for a job, yeah. siphon money out to their families, mm -hmm. looking after their families. And when they, and the sad thing is, is when they finish with, with, with Parliament, some mm -hmm. of them have money, some of them have nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the one that the good crooks tend to, uh, tend mm -hmm. to, tend to look after their families yeah. and get more out. And so, but. The premier must do much more, much mm. more, much, much more. more. Mm. We, he's got to get. They must get in the limelight. We, we mm. got to see the premier. There yeah. they should be uh, notices of these guys. Or you know, uh, almost like um, 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 you know, there's a, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, "Dumb dogs." Mm -mm. You know, dumb dogs. They are sleeping, but they're actually dumb dogs. Yeah. A dog that sleep and does nothing. Mm -mm. You know, so. Uh, of course, they must do very much, do much more. Nothing. I just want to read something. I'm going to just go over to some of the questions. Yeah. It's a lot of questions. So here's Mr. Miller, Mr. Ian Miller. Hi, Doc. Hi, all. Dr. Yeah. Jerome and Uncle Stan. Is a religious party not the same as a nationalist party that has exclusive base? Are we not just splitting the vote? If I may ask a second question, Collisions has worked uh, in no municipality. How will it work nationally? So it hasn't worked. Collisions hasn't worked in in a um, municipality, how will it work nationally, and then also F about the Christian party? First question about the religious party. Ara is not a religious party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frankly, Ara is not a religious party. Ara is, uh, is for everybody. You see, let me say this. As a Christian party, I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm a pastor. I cannot force my beliefs on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is we must get we must get that straight. Yeah, we can't we can't for, uh, we can't force anybody uh, um, to do anything. Mm -hmm. You can over God will not even do it. Yes. Okay. So there's not a Christian party, mm -hmm. but we have got there are standards mm -hmm. in the party. Yeah. There, of course, there's rules and ethics and behavior with problem. We do that and we respect everybody. You if you want to be government, you must be able to cater for everybody. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to live with everybody. That I think the same person that will ask that question. And it's a valid question. Mm -hmm. It's the same person that will buy by a Muslim. Mm -hmm. That will buy by a, a Hindu yeah. and a Christian. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? You buy mm -hmm. by a Jew. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying and you're buying something and you're putting into your stomach mm -hmm. from somebody that has a different religion, yeah. uh, doesn't that connect your food or how do you abstract? So mm -hmm. that question is that it's something that I think the Christian especially has been confused because of ACDP. Mm -hmm. Because of the ACDP, you must understand the ACDP was started not it was started by the SSA. SSA. The SSA, Security mm -hmm. Services. Okay. In 1984, mm -hmm. 1994, mm -hmm. not Christians, mm -hmm. because they had to cater for who would be Christians. You used to say mm -hmm. Africa was known as a Christian nation. Yeah, yeah. So they were catering at the, at who's going to vote Christian, mm -hmm. who's going to vote communist, yeah. the ANC, that yeah. time, and the National Party. Mm -hmm. And so when they saw the amount of Christians, Christians was put in the box. Remember. ACDP, African Christian. Mm -mm. Do you know that is the only party with a Christian name across the world? Mm -mm. The only party. There's no other party calling them a Christian or Hindu party mm -mm. Or in Africa itself. Mm -mm. You know, uh, um, so Merkel, by the way, is a, uh, there's a there's a Christian party, but it's not called a Christian mm -mm. party. You mm -mm. know, it's an old uh, religious party. Mm -mm. But what I'm pointing is that so so that was that's the history. So we 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 are confused mm -mm. in. Um, um, we are confused in the way of how we approach governmental issues. Um, so there's, there's, we got, I got, got brilliant friends. I mean, I got brilliant friends that are professors that are Muslims. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my family, uh, my family is Muslim, and so now you say, oh, you can't come because of the Christian party. Oh, you can't come to my house because we're Christian. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's silly. You know, uh, you, 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 then you, you like uh, ISIS. Mm. <laughs> you're specific. You're Pacific. No, yeah. yeah, and we cannot do that. Yeah. Okay. But then the number two, your second question was that what about coalition? As but coalitions, coalition, yeah. you see the problem with coalitions is this: coalitions is when you pull out. You have to have contractual relationships, mm -hmm. as to put in place, and the fines must be put in place. Mm. The, the the parties today divorce; they break up because yeah. of they don't like this one and mm. ooh, how we can do it for money. It's a money game. Yeah. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. and that's the problem with, with government. We, you're going to see people work. The people that co they are not looking at the benefit of the community, so your contract must be put in place. Contract law must come put mm -hmm. in place because you're running the country, you're running a province. You are responsible. You're accountable for the finance. Uh, so 
it's easy for loose cannons to run away. I saw some of those coalitions before. Mm -hmm. It's a one pager. It's yeah. utter nonsense. Yeah. These parties, political parties, do not know how to form coalitions. Mm -hmm. I've, I've ran the ACDP. Mm -hmm. I saw some of the coalitions. It's it's weak mm -hmm. uh, um, things they put together. I saw the one between the uh, Musi Mani mm -hmm. and the and one of the uh, political parties. It's so mm -hmm. loose. It's unbelievable mm -hmm. that these guys, actually political leaders. Mm -hmm putting a coalition together on a piece of paper yeah. that my, I think, my Lord, you mm -hmm. know, this is why we have a miss. Yeah. The guys go in, have got no idea why, they're there for, they're just there for they're money. For salary, yeah. yeah, they're just for salary. Yeah. So I hope I'll answer that question. So coalitions does work. work. It works in, in France. Mm -hmm. And actually, fact, you know, do you know there's a lot of training going on now in national government on helping the South Africa mm -hmm. to, to work in coalition, coalition mm -hmm. government. There's courses being run now. Wow. Well, in Parliament, mm -mm. because they see what's going to take place, that mm -mm. there is going to be coalition government. Yeah. There is going to be. Yeah. Okay, so. And I think, Doc, just to come back on the topic on collision, the INC made this because people don't trust the bigger parties anymore. Yeah. Because you have a group of people that only look after themselves. And I think that is where the collision part has been born. I think we will maybe see, we are, we are actually seeing how certain provinces are being run by parties that came together. But this is what I want to ask you. Just a little bit back, I, th I think we still have some time left and, and, and I think people are still going to ask you. There's a lot of questions coming through, so I must read some of the questions. And I think a lot of people, the views is not that a lot normally, but I can tell you now there's a lot of people tuning in, so people are enjoying this. Yeah. Um, just to go back quickly, I want to go back on SEPS. SEPS is one of the most corrupt institutions. Mm -hmm. Government, what government has done, they have employed 10,000 10, more soldiers, food soldiers, right? So, so it's the same as our infrastructure. We, we want to put more, more um, electricity into our infrastructure, but it won't be able to handle it. So you have uh, SEPs that has already corrupt forces and people in place. We obviously need to clean out SEPs. We need to look, there's people that have criminal records that is in SEPs. There's people that has been accused of rape having um, that is in um, SEPs. What would you, how would you tackle this? How would you fix the mess of SEPs? You know, because you, you obviously need to first, you can't put new apples into a box where there's two or three rotten apples. You obviously need to take out that, that apples. Um, how would you do that? Because remember also, you mentioned something that, that, that actually shows me that you know what you're talking about. A lot of people don't know that SEPs is responsible for Cape Towns, um, you know, for the people here. Um, Metropolis is just you know something that the DA started and or that the city started. They don't have the same rights as what, or they, they can't do the same as SEPs, right? So how would you fix SEPs if you get into power? Okay, first thing. Okay, so they fall under the Police Act, the the mm -hmm. the, 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 the metro and so forth. But uh, I would tell you this. Let me make a statement. You can't have a mosquito mm -hmm. fixing malaria. Okay? Yeah. You can't have a mosquito <laughs> fixing malaria. <laughs> this is what, <laughs> what you exactly said. 10,000 more soldiers. Mm -hmm. You've got a mosquito trying to cure malaria. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, with, 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 the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the policing issue, the policing issue is that you need to deputize, well, let's start with the crime issue. Because when we, when we have more police, we see with more policing, mm -hmm. we're going to sort the problem out. Mm -hmm. So, if we got more policing guys, more, in other words, what we are saying to the community, we need more people to watch you, mm. because you are not able to watch yourselves. Mm. So your community forums must come into play. I, I, we had a woman talking about uh, community forums in one in the one ward, and they were complaining. And like, listen, the CPF, some of them are doing nothing. Some yeah. of them are just they are, they are, they are poli they're political. They're there for themselves. So there's some people that are genuine that's working. Mm -hmm. Same as police. There's some people that are genuine that are trying to keep. Mm -hmm. There's some Christians that are the police force that are trying to keep the force going. Um, so you've got to deputize deputize the. The, the the CPF. Mm -hmm. You've got to empower your community police forum. You've got to empower your neighborhood watchers mm -hmm. to deal with the They know the issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me tell you something. Do you know that when we have a big meeting, mm -hmm. yeah, we do not bring some of security companies. We bring, we hire the people from the community. That's that's not even just the community. The mm -hmm. guy that's walking in the street, mm -hmm. the, the car guards, mm -hmm. we hire them because they know the, the element. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you take those guys, you empower them yeah. 
put them to training. The guys mm. want to work. Mm -hmm. You deputize them. Get one police officer that can deputize and oversee that area. Mm. Now, let's deal with the police. Why does the, why does the police steal? Why do the people do this? Because they enter little. That's right. How are you going to... Do you know we're not called a police force anymore. We go, we're as a police service. Mm -hmm. The police do, does this. It's not a police force. It's a police service. Mm -hmm. So the police says, when they're finished, call us. Mm -hmm. When they finish shooting, then you call us. Yeah. A guy is not going to... He's earning 7,000 rand, 9,000 rand, mm -hmm. put, to put his life on the Danger, line. Danger, no. He's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So what will he do? You know, rather sell guns to the poor, to the yeah. to the criminals, and they give him ten thousand. Then mm -hmm. he'll rather, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't have a, f a feel for his job. So what you, you upgrade the police mm -hmm. in America? They have the the the, the, the normal uh, district police. Then mm -hmm. they got the the FBI. Then they have got the CIA. Mm -hmm. and so we got to upgrade our police guys. Uh, right. Same like the medical field. Mm -hmm. You got to upgrade your nurses. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so we, then we can sort our health problem out. Mm -hmm. So the police you got to engage. This police salary must increase. That's right. um, they must be they must be trained a bit more. Mm -hmm. They must put to be put through CPDs. And mm -hmm. you'll be surprised that uh, certain policemen, and when people go into the police, they go there to want to serve the community. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the corrupt uh, the the element of corruption, mm -hmm. the decay seeps into them as well. Mm -hmm. They meet people at the police station and they say, let's do it like this and do it, and they should. Police officers should go for counselling. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, this is a big thing because mm -hmm. they're committing suicide. That's they're right. killing themselves. Yes. The police should they should be a counselling mm -hmm. officers. Yeah. So social workers should get involved. Male and female social mm -hmm. workers should get involved. They should be trained, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we should help the police because mm -hmm. they've been tra traumatic. Imagine you're a police officer. Mm -hmm. You're hearing murder cases. You come in a blood scene. Even mm -hmm. you're so used to seeing blood, yeah. death, bullets, gunshot. Mm -hmm. Rape, you, uh, the tr tr you are traumatically mm -hmm. um, um, abused. That's right. So the, the police training is not correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the defense classes are not correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the police cannot defend themselves. I mean, you, you know, I was sitting in a plane. Mm -hmm. I was going to, where was it now? In, 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 in Durban. Um, 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 is, I was some, uh, in Durban. Mm -hmm. The person said to me in the plane, I heard the army was in an hour park. Mm. I believe the grandma, one old lady, mm. uh, she robbed the army person. Mm -mm. She was just in Durban. She says, yeah. the grandma, the army was robbed in mm. a notebook. Can yeah. you believe it? It was a joke. Mm -mm. So the training is, uh, uh, training. I'm, I'm, I'm taking your time. The training mm -hmm. actually fact, is, mm -hmm. uh, is the problem. Mm -hmm. A lot of the training. We need to, we, we need to um, uh, um, 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 increase their salary. Mm -hmm. And a, a police officer in America gets a, has enough money to afford a second house. That's right. You know, and he, and he feels he wants to build his career in the fully police force. You know, there's studies now. You can do your, your degree, your, your bachelor's, and you can do a doctorate in police. Mm -hmm. So we should go and, and uh, 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 we should enhance the police career because they're really officers that are looking after mm -mm. our neighborhood, the yeah. crime element, keeping those, uh, those, those criminal outs. And then the army issue we've got to deal with, that's a separate case, we've got to deal with the army because... <laughs> in the Navy as well, I don't know if the Navy and the army, I mean, there was a report where one of the, they did a training um, in Simonstown. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, we have the, we have the, the most... The Navy <laughs> guys are drowning. How can you yeah. be a swimmer and drown? That is, the, that, is the, that is the reality. And I think, Doc, this is also where I just want to come in and, and on what you're saying. Mm -hmm. We need to get rid of BE. Mm -hmm. Because BE doesn't mean we comply. It doesn't mean that we are fit. We, it doesn't mean nothing. It just says, okay, pretty bit disadvantage. I want you to talk more on that because I know you're very, you're very liberal and you're very knowledgeable about that. Previously disadvantage. Don't us talented people also fall under previously disadvantage. Weren't we also forcefully removed? Weren't we also told that we're not good enough? And, and, and I think when it comes to BE, a lot of people might not agree with me, but this is how I see. If I go for a job, and another black guy go with me, and a white guy go with me, mm -hmm. and this already happened to me several times. You go for the job, they take the black guy. Mm -hmm. You got the job, but you know, it's just, you weren't previously disadvantaged as the person next to me. Mm -hmm. I think we were also limited to where we could study. We were also limited, we were actually forced to come live in the cave flats. Just to give people an idea, what is your opinion on about BEE? What you will do with BEE, and also how it excludes our people? Okay. So your your question got a couple of elements. Yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. BEE. We must understand. BEE was not started by. It was started actually by Santa. Mm -mm. 
okay? Santam and Sanlam started mm. PE. Mm. It was the Bura, and I'm not uh, using that. I'm using that term very, 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 very heavily. That started actually San, uh, yeah. PE to protect their own interests. Mm. Okay, so PE was not. I, I, what was not a black idea it was a it was a was a white idea. So when I even use the word white, we just for mm. the sake of mm. the using uh, uh, clarity. Uh, so BE has its limitations and also has its um, has its um, 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 weaknesses. Mm. Okay, there is there is, for example, a guy that never worked like Patrice. He's not a true billionaire. Mm. Even Cyril. Yeah, they're not true millennials. Mm. They're not true mm. because they've got they've they received. Mm -hmm. uh, um, shares, mm -hmm. free shares. Mm -hmm. Cyril received free shares. Mm -hmm. He received shares in Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. uh, they received shares in, in all these companies. Okay, so they were given shares <coughs> to empower them. But I think when you don't work for something, yes, we know the apartheid government has abused the system. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know the apartheid government has actually fact raped this nation. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's why we mm -hmm. we actually rebuilding, mm -hmm. but we actually regressing as well at the same yeah. time under the so-called revolution movement. Mm -hmm. So, in a BA system, I would say that BA has its limits. Um, the previous disadvantage, I think, in the BA, the BE, I mean, they're doing a, you're doing a course now on BE. Can you believe it? Your two-year program is going to do on BE. <laughs> then you're going to be a practitioner. <laughs> it's just, and, and, your, and your scorecard must mm. be in, and mm. how many people you employ. So I think the background behind it is probably good to empower people. Mm -hmm. Um, we still got a long way to go. Long mm. way to go. You, you know, I was driving in in Limpopo, um, one of the farms, mm -hmm. and we were driving. We saw the fence, and this mm -hmm. fence had a particular beep, uh, like a flash alarm mm -hmm. sign on it. And we were driving for about an hour, mm. and we saw the same fence. And we realized that we were driving for an hour, mm. then an hour. <laughs> we realized that this this land belongs to one person. Okay, that was the problem. The same fence mm -mm. for an hour, 40 minutes to an hour. Mm -mm. That we, we, drive, we were driving at the point about 120, yeah. 100. And you saw the same fence? The same fence. Uh -uh. This belonged to one farmer. Mm. That's the problem. Mm. So the problem is that you are, we still got a far way to go. Mm -mm. And it's normally the people that's got the, uh, uh, um, um, in the B. So the B issue, B issue is that the way it's handled is, is handled badly. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, and I think we got to look at our reforms, land reforms. We got to look at, mm -hmm. you know, land reform that when they hand over farms, when they mm -hmm. hand over farms to yeah. 84 people, mm -hmm. all 80, 83 farms all felt only one last mm -hmm. under the BEE code. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of things that must be changed. I think in certain sectors and certain problems, BEE will remain. Now we need to have a black man and a colored man, as you said mm -hmm. now, coming for a job. That's mainly more, mostly Eastern Cape. Mm. Now, a lot of people are flooding to Cape Town because of jobs. Now, remember, ANC won the Eastern Cape, but the Eastern Cape is probably the worst run That's municipality. Right. Yeah. The, in the potholes in Eastern mm. Cape, I, I was driving there, mm. even the potholes has a four-way stop. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's how ridiculous yeah. it is. Uh -huh. So you got to empower people in your Eastern Cape. You've got to, yeah. you've got to keep people in your province. As your provinces become empty mm. and all moving to the Western Cape and you're going to have the imbalance. Now the property market goes up in the Western Cape, but you've got to, you've got to fix Eastern Cape up. You've got to get your university going. You've got to sort that man, Nelson Mandela Bay, right, the old issue there. Yeah. Uh, P, parts of P is just dirty, plain yeah. dirty. They, the municipality is not doing anything. Yeah. So you've got to fix that area up. Mm. You've got to fix the bay up. So that's mm. how you keep, I'm not saying you keep them there, but mm. it, your people are forced to move to compete for a job because yeah. of their own infrastructure, their mm. needs. And now BE also gets a bad name. And I do believe that BE is actually hindrance in a lot of business because mm. people cannot get jobs because they must have a visa certificate yeah. or they con somebody up to stand and there's 51% share. Mm. They, took a, they can take a tani on a mm. on a um to stand mm. and he does nothing but so they can get a job. So they yeah. siphon work uh, uh, and so forth. So I think BE has just caused a lot of, uh, um, yeah, it's plus and it's negative, but it's caused a lot of, uh, um, uh, 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 mistrust mm -mm. in business itself. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to have a PE certificate to prove you're black. Yeah. Uh, how do you do <laughs> that? Well, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Doc, that is the things that has been happening. And, and I think whoever's going to take over, and like I said, like we spoke earlier on, collisions, is, it looks like that's going to be how yeah. it's going to work. Yeah. Um, you don't have to be a big party anymore. The big parties will come to you for your, for your votes. But I've also seen the... A lot of people don't know this, but this is what I've seen. I was at one of your events recently, and it wasn't advertised. Mm. I think there was 10,000 plus people. There was 10,000 plus, yeah. Um, and it wasn't advertised. It was just people that, 
I don't think people yeah. understand, and, and I don't want to, you should actually pay me well for saying this, <laughs> but I think you, you have a big following. I think behind ACDP, you were also the force. A lot of people don't know that you were the st st uh, strategy and things. You also worked on that. You gave them a lot of ideas. Um, Let me create it. Mm -hmm. Godly governance mm -hmm. is not an ACDP idea. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of plans that were doing. It was never the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they they do call kids. It was never the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, human change. You know, we started the human chain. Mm -hmm. uh, then DA came with a human train. <laughs> 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 so, 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 so um, you, you know, they were dropping. They were dropping with about close to 50,000 votes every election. Mm -hmm. I tell you, when we got involved, there was so much mistrust mm -hmm. that was regarding ACDP. A lot of mistrust, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to talk bad about yeah. people, but you know, it's it's. I don't want to, but I can tell you this because we ran, the, we ran it. Mm -hmm. You know, we ran it. We. We've actually done all the posters in that thing, and I, I, mean, I can tell you much more. And there's mm. a lot of lies going around. So mm. there was a lot of mistrust amongst the posters. Mm. I, and, and the sad thing, and, and you know, the sad thing for me, and I'm going to say this to you today, the sad thing for me is that I had to convince those posters to mm. come to a, go back to a African Christian Democratic Party in mm. my naiveness. Mm -mm. And I do apologize to those people mm -mm. because now when we found the issue out, um, and if I might say, one of the reasons was that. When, when there was a bit of paying off people to vote against each other, you know, the, and we got the affidavits, we got the mm. proof. Mm. And that's a sad thing about it. I, I, and I asked people to join, and many of the pastors and leaders and non Christians all joined ACDP mm. because they agreed with what was standing. And I had to tell them again, I apologize, mm. but rather let us do something, mm. Africa Restoration Alliance, restoring the whole of Africa, mm. because not just Africa, but the restoration of Africa. And we will, we will align to people with the same values and also at wants to learn. Mm. And, 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 and that's the sad part of it. That's actually a sad part of our, 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 our history and so forth. Mm. You know? And today also, you know some people still think we're part of ACTP. Mm. We, had one <laughs> we, had, we had one event where ACTP people were claiming, or you know, I, I shouldn't, don't even want to mention it, it's a pity. Mm. But people still thinking that we are part of ACTP, and that's why they voted ACTP. Mm. Because of you, because of yes. you guys. Yes, and they mm. used old footage and said, mm. "Oh, they're part of it," and that's that, that's a sad point, mm -hmm. you know. And, and it's a sad, it's a sad, uh, it's a, it's we've we've learned a lot from mm -hmm. the mistakes, but yeah. it's been a sad point in that in that case. Mm -hmm. I mean, also you guys have put a lot of time in, a lot of effort in. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You yes, you've you've walked away, and you've gained knowledge, you know. But I think, you, you know, walking away, making this decision, it, it wasn't obviously easy because you were part of building this brand. It's a brand that, you, that you've built. And that actually brings me to the following and the second last question that I'm, that I'm done. Okay. We have leaders that are in position for 30 years. Okay. Let me say, mm -hmm. we didn't walk away with any, with any knowledge. Let yeah. clarify that because otherwise mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't walk away with any knowledge from you the ACDP. No, no, they need no, no, we never. I um, mean, you look some of the stuff, we didn't walk away from it. Okay. So, okay. Just okay. You have leaders that are in the same position for 30 plus years. They don't create opportunity for young people. It's the same with our local government. We, we have, well not, but on, it's not local, but with our national government. You have a lot of retired people that's supposed to be grannies and grandfathers still making decisions for young people. How will I tackle this, you know, because you want, you have got a lot of young people. If there is one thing I've picked up in, in, in your business, young people, um, in your church, the young people, in Ara as well, young people. How will you keep this going? Because there is something that I picked up when I walk into a political party. I mean, the, the, the DA also recently bought this. I see they also have young people. But I want to talk about you guys. How will you continue this? Because you're obviously empowering these young people. Those working with you are getting the, the business knowledge. Those mm. getting their, their own businesses. Those in, in politics are also gaining experience. How will you maintain this? Because we, we, once you win, I, I, I can see there's a lot of young people it will come from your organization. So, the, 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 you answer, to answer you very quick on that, I'm not, you know, I'll be, I'm, I'll be head of the party for a certain point, mm -hmm. all right? I'm, I'm not going to be one of those leaders that's going to be there for the next 20 years mm -hmm. and so forth. But we're going to also work behind the scenes mm -hmm. so we can empower, you know, the most important thing is to pass the knowledge. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to look back 30 years from now and say, 
you know, look what we are starting, like, like the NP, no more. Mm. Okay, well, it's actually DA, but the, <laughs> you know, the, the, the NP is, the, there's no more. You look mm -hmm. at it, it is, the party's dissolved, mm. um, they rebranded themselves uh, and so forth. But if you look at it, you, you want to have, you want to have somebody take the torch on it, take mm -hmm. the hand over the pattern and so forth. Mm -hmm. And there's, there, of course, a lot of people that's coming in, a lot of people being trained and so forth, and a lot of young people, the youth movement actually growing. Mm -hmm. Of others actually growing quite a bit, so you 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 you, you got to remain um, um, we remain we remain relevant in that aspect. So there are places there, there are methods in place where we will stand behind a lot of the mm -hmm. that, that folk that will come in, and there's so much more to do in government. You know, mm -hmm. it's not just being by but being in front line, mm -hmm. and there's so much more. This the sphere is so big, you know. Uh, South Africa is the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. South Africa is like one small part. There's so much to in Africa itself. Mm -hmm. There's so much for South Africa to move ahead from a from a developing nation they claim from a third world to a first world country. Mm -hmm. uh, so much more to be done, and you cannot just do it from from a presidential point itself only. But mm -hmm. you've got a you you've got different sectors that will be involved, and so we'll be involved later on mm -hmm. uh, um, and helping and developing a lot of young people's coming. And we've got brilliant young people. We've got people mm -hmm. in Limpopo, guys yeah. with ideas, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, brilliant young people in Johannesburg itself. Mm -hmm. and so forth. Your movement are growing. Um, I mean, like you say, you, you're not only in Cape Town, you're, you're national. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of your strongholds can be potentially Durban as well, because you don't know tell. Yeah. I've seen your party grow there as well. Is that right? Yes, no, it has, has grown. You know, it's very, because um, uh, um, um, Natal is a, a big Zulu movement mm -hmm. there, okay? A big, strong Zuma following. And there's a lot of, even Zulus now have mm -hmm. also joined the party mm -hmm. and so forth. And um, and, and so the, the movement is growing as well in Durban mm -hmm. and, and, to the, and to the east of the, uh, um, the coastline, right up and so forth is growing. Okay. Awesome. Doc, we spoke a lot, we covered some topics okay, there's yeah. still a lot of topics that we need to cover but we will come back Def definitely i will have you back on the show but i wanted to talk to the people you know as as we conclude um people want to hear about hope people want to know can we vote for ara are we safe in ara's hands if i decide tomorrow to <laughs> vote for ara will i be safe because you said five hundred thousand people um i mean that is it, it sounds a lot but it's not a lot mm -hmm. you know if you get five hundred thousand people Will Allah Ara deliver on what they on what they promise on the mandate? Will they um, make sure that things do change? Because yeah. I think people are means us fit up man. Because us vote for the ukal. They're telling us keep the ANC out, but the same things are happening here currently. Small coloured businesses are not getting money. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are a lot in this Cape Town. We are a lot of coloured people are the most. I, I still think mm -hmm. we will be the most people in Cape Town. We're not getting business support. Our education systems are failing our children. Many of our people listening and watching, their kids need to go to other areas, to schools in other areas. That is how bad it is. Um, we have become third class citizens in our own community. If you can talk to those people out there, what would you tell them? So I would say to everybody watching, you know, um, Africa, Ara Africa Restoration Alliance, Africa means the birthplace of humanity, restoration mm -hmm. for the whole of Africa, Africa Restoration Alliance. Uh, you know, um, it's a party not built on promises. Mm -hmm. and we learn to keep our word, that's number one, and we're not a party built. Every part, we, if somebody, we're not salesmen, we're not going to promise mm -hmm. you the world. What we say is what we do. And we have done what, we, what we've done, we've done bef what we've done, what we've shown you now, we've done this before even Ara. So, it is not you know, there's a, I want to quote a, a scripture, mm -hmm. Isaac Mach. No, sure. <laughs> yeah. It says, a man will be known by the fruits. Mm -hmm. So before you, uh, yes, we got a church, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice, good movement, it's a big movement, it's a wonderful movement, the mm -hmm. Lord has done wonderful things, wonderful families. But look at the fruits. Look at what has happened, what is the fruits, what does the people have accomplished? When people have accomplished something, they don't want to steal something, somebody else, mm -hmm. uh, their money. They don't want, want to steal their ideas, they want to help build. And Ara is a restorative party. Um, there, are, there are methods in place so people can be kept on a certain level of account. Mm -hmm. And so I want to say this to you, you are, you are in good hands, we need to help to build Ara, we need to help you, we need to support. We need, a, we need a change, we need a new face, we need a new government in the Western Cape, mm -hmm. in the Eastern Cape, in uh, Gauteng, in Limpopo, Mpola, Mlanga, Kwasnotau, Northern Cape. 
um, northwest. We need an, a newness. We need it's time. You can't do the mm. same thing over and over and expect a different result. Mm. So I want to say this to everybody, and I'm, I, I want to say, and this is not being nasty, but we deserve who we put in power. Mm. So if you put those people in power, you deserve it. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to you, rise up, stand up, mm -hmm. uh, stand up. You you know, rise up again. Don't don't just listen to stories because there's a lot of stories about people. If you want to ask us questions, you ask, call our number. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll answer you directly. Mm -hmm. uh, but don't believe stories you hear. A lot of things people hear say and say mm -hmm. things, and that destroys a nation, that destroys a family, that destroys an individual. So from other side is that you know we. A difference the movement has started it's just time how the movement flows mm. you know so we were working on 500,000 the pay minimum of what we are looking for because from from, mm -hmm. a, from a new from a new party now when we say new party uh, people they say always a small party. no mm -hmm. it's not just a new a small part the party's growing massively mm -hmm. and so forth so we are excited for what's gonna happen in 2024 and mm -hmm. the upcoming a few days, few it makes weeks. sense, and I think uh, we will from our side. We will also track you. Mm. I mean, we know there's a lot of things you do, and I think it is also important for us to start sharing these things, escape flood stories, because people are looking for people want to see change. And I think the things that's happening in Nevendeel and in Steenburg and some of the other areas, we definitely need to share that. Um, it's good. It is good stories, and, yeah. and and I'm not promoting any political party, but I think every year um, people come with promises and they don't deliver you guys have been now almost, almost two years you've mm -hmm. done a lot more than what a lot of the big parties has done in our communities to me practically I focus on the Cape Flats yeah. and I think for that reason we need to sort of work together and see how we can you know get our people to trust and also to keep you accountable because the, the main thing is this dog when people are in positions they put their phone or what councillors put their phones off you don't hear from them MMCs or, or, or ministers put their phones off you. You have to make an appointment. Mm -hmm. You know n now everybody pro make promises, but but you know it's good and well. Mm -hmm. But later on, when they go do get into into parliament, they become silent. Mm -hmm. And I think we we need to build relationships. But Doc, thank you so much for having yeah. me um, on your platform, um, on my platform. <laughs> <laughs> but I say, Stan, thank you to you too. I think you're doing a good job. Thank you. You know. I think you're doing a good job, especially for Cape, Cape, Cape Stories. Cape Flat Stories, yeah. And you're bringing a, a partly realizing the identity, you, mm -hmm. you're partly giving people also direction and bringing to light what's taking place. So mm -hmm. I salute you, Stan. Keep thank up the good work. Thank you, Doc. And all the best. Um, I'm be watching you guys and we'll be chatting more. Yep. And um, let's let's change South Africa. Yeah. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jerome Swartz, you guys can follow him on Facebook. Um, also go for you guys that with this buy a cake means to go to the JCI page as well go to the Arab page follow him um, Doc you, you also one thing before you specifically buy you need to start sharing more of that nuggets um, business nuggets yeah. you are a good businessman there's a lot of colored people young people from the Cape Flats that needs to hear more about you you need to also release a book where you talk about yourself because yeah. it will release from John C. Maxwell I and it will release from Dr. Jerome Swartz from Steamwork from wherever that made the success of his life. Actually, there is a book written called The Entrepreneur. Okay. Okay. In fact, uh, it's actually a good book to deal with a number of things in business. Very basic book mm -hmm. uh, with, that I wrote some time back. Okay. Be most of them, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you yeah, you have a book, uh, yeah, The Entrepreneur. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll get a copy and then I'll start promoting it because we need to get from that knowledge as well and empower our young people yeah. from the Cape Flats. Somebody from the Cape Flats, empower, empowering and inspiring us. No, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. That is Dr. Jerome Swartz. I'll be back next week again. Cheers. Thanks.